things started to look bleak for the franchise when shortly after Virtua Tennis 2's arrival, the much loved but under supported Dreamcast sadly became extinct. In 2005, an update was released for the PSP. While that still ranks as one of the best games on Sony's handheld, it wasn't the full blown sequel we were after. Then, earlier this year, a light appeared at the end of the dark Virtua Tennisless tunnel. The series' third instalment started to appear in the arcades, an encouraging sign. The coin op version is the first game that's powered by Sega's Lindbergh board. Which was originally designed to use Xbox 360 hardware but ended up being PC based. Pending to serve. But what about the consoles? Well, according to Sega's AM2 arcade division, who make the game, it's generally easier to port Limburg based games to the PlayStation 3 than it is to transfer them to the 360. BT3 is scheduled to arrive on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, PC, and PSP next year, a full five years after the last home version. Judging by our brief taste of the game so far, play will be as tight as ever and it's clear that major visual advances have been made. Viewed on a high definition screen, you'll really notice the enhanced resolution to the point that detail on the smoothly animated player models is now approaching photorealistic crispness. The PS3 version can even run at a crystal clear 1080p, so certain newly added female players are likely to come under especially close scrutiny. At this time though, online multiplayer has yet to be confirmed for PS3, and that's a feature we expect will be a shoo-in for Xbox Live if BT3 wants to compete seriously with Microsoft's Top Spin 2. So it remains to be seen which platform will really serve up the aces. But if you're not already saving for that HD telly, we suggest you start feeding the piggy bank.